Today's adventure starts at the meadow. Lucy's sleepover. Isn't it lovely having a picnic in the Little Kingdom? What's the Little Kingdom? You know, Daddy, where our friends, the fairies and elves, live. Now, Lucy, we've talked about this. Fairies and elves don't exist. But they do, Daddy. Yes, darling. You've met them yourself. Oh, <laughs> it's a charming idea and I've joined in the game before. But let's not be silly. That's like saying talking animals exist. <laughs> Hi, Lucy. Ah, the talking animal. It's me, Ben Elf. Oh, hello, Ben. Why are you a rabbit? Holly magicked me into one by accident. <laughs> Ah! Uh, was that a talking animal? Help! Help! Rex, come back! Rex, no! Naughty dog! <laughs> hello, Lucy. Oh, hello, Holly. Have you seen a talking rabbit anywhere? Yes, he was here just now. <laughs> Here I am. Naughty Ben. When we magic you into things, you shouldn't run away. Can you change me back? Of course. <laughs> Phew, that's better. Now let's play a sensible game. Let's play catch. To you, Ben. <laughs> <laughs> to you, Violet. <laughs> I wish I could play in your games, but I'm too big. No problem. I can just shrink you down. <laughs> Whoa! Wow! I'm tiny! <laughs> You're one of the little people now, Lucy. Will I be like this forever? No, only till the morning. You'll be big again tomorrow. Can you make Rex little too? <laughs> <laughs> now you can do all the things we do. Ooh! Can I go for a ride on Gaston? <laughs> OK. Hold on to his feelers. Push forward to start. Whoa! And then pull back to fly. Whee! <laughs> Don't pull too far back. You'll lose the loop. Whoa! <laughs> that was really fun. Can I visit your houses? Of course. Would you like to see inside the great elf tree? Or the little castle? Or come to my house? Where is your house, Strawberry? Me and Violet live in the fairy village. Ooh, I'd love to see the fairy village. OK, follow me. <laughs> <laughs> Here we are, the fairy village. Wow, do you all live inside toadstools? Yes. We used to live inside mushrooms, but the big people kept picking them. No one eats toadstools. <laughs> <laughs> but there's no door to get in. Yes, there is. It's a magic door. You have to tap three times and spin around and say, Open Sesame. <laughs> See? Hello, everyone. Hello. Hello, Daddy. My dad's the fairy mayor. Yes, and you're here just in time for the meeting. What meeting? Emergency meeting! Emergency meeting! As your mayor, I have called an emergency meeting because there are big people in the meadow. <laughs> Two grown-ups, one little girl and a dog having a picnic. Now, as you all know, the big people are dangerous. I'll say they stepped on my granddad. And they ate my house. So we must be very careful. And if anyone sees any big people, sound the alarm! <laughs> I've seen a big person. What? Where? Who? Me. I'm a big person. Ah! A big person! Sound the alarm! Ah! Big person! Oh! Don't they like me? Don't worry, Lucy. It's not your fault you're a big person. You're a little person now anyway. Lucy is our friend. Yes, look at her feet. They're far too small to step on anyone. Yes, she does seem a bit small for a big person. Holly shrunk me down. Oh, I see. But Lucy is our friend, whether she is big or small. In that case, we are forgetting our manners. Lucy, would you like to join us for lunch as our special guest? Lunch? Sorry, I just remembered. I'm having a picnic with Mum and Dad. We'll take you back. Come on. Bye. 
Bye-bye. Bye. It's true, darling. There really are elves and fairies. And talking rabbits? Well, that's a new one on me, but obviously there are. No, I can't believe it. We must have imagined it all. Hi, Mum. Hi, Dad. Ah! Lucy? Yes. Holly shrunk me down to be a little person today. Oh, that's nice, isn't it, darling? Hmm. Don't worry, she won't be little forever. Just until the morning. I know. You could stay for a sleepover tonight. Oh, wow. Could I? Of course. There's lots of room in the little castle. That would be brilliant. Can I? Uh, I think that would be fine. Have a nice time. Great. Bye, Mum and Dad. See you in the morning. <laughs> hmm. Talking rabbits? Elves? Fairies, shrunken daughter. Come on, darling. Let's get you home. Yeah. Nanny, say hello to Lucy. Lucy? Who's Lucy? You know Lucy. Do I? She's normally a bit bigger. Oh, Lucy the big person. Hello. Normally a lot bigger, I'd say. I shrank her down. Lucy has come to join us for a sleepover. Well, what will happen when she grows big in the morning? The castle will explode. Don't worry. We'll make sure Lucy is out of the castle before the morning. All right, then. And Gaston and Rex can sleep in the kitchen. What? Oh, all right then. As long as they don't leave any muddy footprints. Oh! This is my bedroom. <laughs> we can have a midnight feast. Yes, you have to have a midnight feast at a sleepover. It's the law. <laughs> Gosh, I'm tired. Me too. And me. <sighs> is it midnight yet? No. <sighs> midnight is still hours away. But I'm so sleepy. <sighs> <sighs> We've got to stay up until midnight or it's not a real midnight feast. <sighs> Dum -de -dum -de 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 -do -de -de -de. Oh, my goodness! Rex, what are you doing here? It's morning! You could grow big again any second! Oh. Out! Out! Quickly! You're starting to grow! Ah, Ow, you go! Just in time! That could have been disastrous! <sighs> What's all the noise about? You woke us up. Holly, where's Lucy? Shh, she's still asleep. What? Well, wake her up and get her out of the castle, quickly, before she gets big. Oh, yes, we forgot. Lucy, Lucy, wake up. What's happening? You're growing. Whoa, let's get out of here. Too late. Gosh, what a funny way to wake up. Lucy, are you all right? I'm fine, thank you. Morning, all. Is Lucy around? Uh, yes. I just wanted to say sorry. Big people aren't all about smashing our houses and stepping on us. Ow! Oops, sorry, Mr Mayor. I didn't mean to step on you. That's quite all right. I couldn't have been stepped on by a nicer person. Um, how am I going to get out of the castle? Oh, a bit of magic will fix that. Phew. Thanks, Nanny Plum. Lucy, home time. That's my mum. I've got to go now. Thanks for the great time. Yes, it was fun. Next time we'll come to your place. Ooh, that would be great. Bye. 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 There you are. Hi, Lucy. Did you have a nice time? It was the best sleep.
sleepover ever. Wasn't it, Rex? <laughs> <laughs> Today's adventure starts at the meadow. The dwarf mine! <laughs> Catch, Barnaby! To you, Strawberry! To you, Holly! Whoa! What was that? I don't know! It was coming from the old dwarf mine! But isn't the dwarf mine empty? Yes, I think so! I can hear voices! was loud. We'd better tell the grown-ups. Wise old elf, there are noises in the mine. The mine? What mine? The old dwarf mine. You're not supposed to be in there. It's dangerous. We weren't in there. We just heard a big bang. Yes, and the ground shook. Whoa! Whoa! Like that. Oh, no. The dwarves have woken up. Woken up? Yes. Deep inside the mine, the dwarves have been sleeping. They sleep for years and years. Then, when they wake up, they start to dig. What are they digging for? Precious jewels, gold, diamonds, gemstones. But digging for things doesn't make a big bang noise. It does when the dwarves do it. They carry out big explosions underground. And then dig through the mess. They just dig and dig and dig and dig and dig. Yes, yes, Mrs Elf. They keep digging until they are so tired they fall asleep again. They sleep and sleep and what sleep. What do dwarves look like? They're big. Bigger than us. Yes. Dwarves are huge. This is a worrying time. The whole of the little kingdom might get dug up. Holes everywhere. What are we going to do? Just hope. Hope they dig in the other direction. Hope they don't come anywhere near us. Morning all. Just letting you know there'll be some digging work in this area. Oh, no. We apologise in advance for any inconvenience caused to your journey. Journey? What journey? We're not going anywhere. No? I would if I were you. Look at this hole. Someone could fall in. Hmm. I think we need to talk to King Thistle. The wise old elf to see you, Your Majesty. Hmm? Dwarves, Your Majesty. Dwarves? They're back. No. I'm afraid so. We haven't had a dwarf infestation for years. But now they've woken up. I see. Well, they live underground mostly. Maybe they won't bother us. But they've already dug a hole by the elf tree. It's only one hole. Maybe you can turn it into a pond or something. Your Majesty, you don't understand. This is just the start. The dwarfs will dig up all of the little kingdom. Wise old elf, you worry too much. It will be fine. <laughs> Goodness gracious. I say, do you mind? What's that, mate? You've made a great big hole in my courtyard. Now, pal, don't get upset. Upset? My castle is falling over. Yeah, you want to get that fixed. Now, listen here. I'm the king. Oh, a complaint, is it? You'd better talk to the boss. Right, I will. Dig, dig, dig. Dig, dig, dig. Good work, chaps. Dig, Keep it going. Dig, dig. Hello. Dig, I want dig, to speak dig, to the boss. Dig, is he... Hang on a minute. Oi, lads, dig, just pipe down a second, OK? Right, you were saying... I want to speak to the boss. I'm the boss. Do you have an appointment? He doesn't need one. He's the king. A king doesn't make appointments. Not even at the hairdressers. Uh. Daddy doesn't have any hair. He's bald. Well, that's not our fault. Look, we want to complain about the noise. What noise? The noise from the mine. Oh, I can't hear anything. That noise. 
Now look, I'm the king, and I'm commanding you to stop all the digging. Yeah, the thing is, though, you're only king above the ground, just to the topsoil. Below that, I'm the boss. But we can't stop digging anyway. That's what we do. We won't stop until we've found gold and diamonds and gems. I've got an idea. Nanny Plum can magic you up some gold and diamonds and gems. Good thinking, Holly. There we go. Problem solved. Now kindly stop digging. But I can magic up that stuff. Eh? Where's the fun in that? You have to dig for it. Now, if you don't mind, some of us have work to do. Come on, lads. Let's get digging. Well, that could have gone better. Let's go away and come up with another plan. So if no-one wants this treasure, can I have it? Yes, yes, take it. <laughs> Silence, please, everyone. Now, we are gathered here to discuss the dwarf problem. They're making loud bangs. They're digging holes everywhere. They've dug up my carrots. Yes, yes, we all know how annoying they can be. Can't you magic them away? No, fairy magic doesn't work on dwarves. I know how to get rid of the dwarves. We take all this treasure... Aww. ..sneak into the mine and bury the treasure deep down. Oh, and then the dwarves will dig it up and they'll be happy and stop digging. Correct. Excellent plan. All right, Nanny Plum's in charge. Off you go. But it's my plan. OK, you can both be in charge. Thank you, Your Majesty. But I'm in charge, really. We need to bury the treasure deep down in the mine. But how do we get inside? The train! Clever Ben! Wait for me! Dwarf mine, here we come! <laughs> <laughs> wow! How deep is the mine? Deep, very deep. Hold tight, everyone. Oh, no! So old, we dig for diamonds, we dig for gold. Dig, 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 dig. How can we hide the treasure with all the dwarves around? I know, I'm good at voices. This is the dwarf boss. Come on, lads, let's go, go, go. That's brilliant. Now watch this. All right, boys, tea break. Tea break. Okay, boss. <laughs> well done, Nanny Plum. No probs. Right, let's hide this treasure. Quickly now. Dwarves never stop digging for long. Here they come. Gold! I found gold! There we go. Diamonds! There's diamonds here! Have we found treasure? Yes! Lots of it! Well done, lads. Keep digging. Eh? What do you mean, keep digging? In case there's more treasure, of course. We always dig twice as hard when we find treasure. Oh, no! What are you doing here anyway? This is the dwarf-only area. We put the treasure there for you to find. What? We thought you'd stop digging. We thought you'd be happy. Why, how thoughtful of you. And we thought you'd stop making that racket. Well, I suppose all the noise could be a bit upsetting. Yes, yes it is. And that's why we apologise in advance. Come on, lads, let's get digging. But, but... Ugh, all this digging has made me quite tired. Oh, me too, boss. Oh, oh. I think they're going to sleep. Yes, they've tired themselves out. Night, night, boss. Night, night, lads. Good. 
now they'll sleep for years. They'll sleep and sleep and sleep and sleep. And then they'll wake up and start digging all over again. Yes, they'll dig and dig and dig and dig and dig. Today's adventure starts at the little castle. Gaston goes to school. Here, yeah, boy. Come back, Gaston. <laughs> Naughty Gaston. <laughs> Ugh. Holly and Ben, please keep Gaston under control. Sorry, Daddy. Hello, Strawberry. Hello, Holly. I've come to show you my new pet. <laughs> Ooh, come in. Hello, everyone. This is Fufu, my rainbow beetle. I say. She's very pretty. <laughs> Watch this. Fufu, sit. Ooh. Roll over. Ooh. Shake hands. Wow, that's amazing. I've been taking Fufu to pet school. Well, it's very impressive. Why can't Gaston do tricks like that? Gaston can do tricks. Really? Yes. We've been teaching him to fetch your slippers. Oh, I'd like to see that. Gaston? Fetch Daddy's slippers. Good boy, Gaston. Drop the slippers, Gaston. <laughs> drop! <laughs> drop! Drop! <laughs> he ate my slippers. Sorry, Daddy. Bad, Gaston. <laughs> uh, sit, Gaston. Sit, I say. Ugh. I think it's about time Gaston was trained. He can go to pet school with Fufu. Good idea, Strawberry. Lead the way. Here we are. This is pet school. Look, all our friends are here. Hello, this is my pet, Stanley the insect. Ruff, ruff. Hello, Hello, Stanley. Stanley. Gaston! It's all right, Daddy. They're just saying hello. <laughs> this is my pet, Bobby B. <laughs> hello, Bobby B. This is my pet, Archie the Ant. <laughs> hello, Archie. Hello there. Oh, no. It's King and Queen Marigold. Well, hello. How nice to see you. We always bring our pedigree greenfly to pet training. We've brought our ladybird. Well, you remember Lucinda, Gucci and Timmy? Timmy, say hello to the ladybird. <laughs> Timmy! Oh, no. Gaston, spit Timmy out. <laughs> Sorry about that. Look, here comes Miss Jolly. Who's Miss Jolly? <laughs> <laughs> Whoa, trigger! <laughs> Steady, boy! Morning, everybody! I'm Miss Jolly! Morning, Miss Jolly! Everyone on time! Good show! Well done, Archie! Nice posture, Stanley! <laughs> She's funny! Chin up, Bobby! That's better! Let's face the future like we mean it! Aha! A new pet! Wonderful! Does he have a name? He's called Gaston. And I'm Holly. I'm Ben. And I'm King Thistle. Hello, Gaston. Oh. Now, Mr Thistle, why isn't Gaston wearing a lead? Uh... He never wears a lead. Nonsense! He has to wear a lead to be trained. Uh, he's not really trainable. Poppycock! All pets are trainable by Miss Jolly. Tell him to sit down. Ah, uh, sit, Gaston. Sit down, please. You see, it's impossible. Sit! Oh. Just be firm. Let your pet know who's boss. Now, let's all show Gaston how we walk with a lead. Nice and upright. That's it. Do you want to have a go, Gaston? No, don't talk to Gaston like that. Who's the boss here? Well, I've always thought of Gaston as a friend. You're the boss, so show him that. Gaston, heel! 
Knees up, Gaston. Chin in the air. Don't slouch. Good boy, Gaston. What a good boy. Now you do it, Mr. Thistle. Ah, uh, heel? Not bad, but louder. Heel! OK, to the obstacle course, everyone. Don't dilly-dally. Now the seesaw. Very good. Through the tunnel. Excellent. Round the poles. And jump over the mud pit. No flying, please, Bobby. Come on, Gaston, jump over. Remember who's in charge. Gaston, jump! That's it. Now the seesaw. Good work. Straight through, please. Good boy, Gaston. Round the poles. And jump over the mud pit. Uh-oh, Gaston's in the mud. He's covered in it. Ha-ha, <laughs> no harm in a bit of mud, is there, Gaston? <laughs> 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 Oh, no. Gaston is going to shake himself dry. <gasps> Sorry, Miss Jolly. <laughs> You're a mucky pup, aren't you, Gaston? But next time, you will jump over! Now, who'd like to show us all a trick? Oh, oh, me first. My green flies can dance. Oh! <laughs> She can lift really heavy things. Wow! Stanley can walk on his front legs. Ooh! Bobby B can do a somersault. <laughs> Whoa! Fufu can shake hands. Amazing! And what about Gaston? Uh, he does know how to fetch shoes. Excellent! But maybe it's not a good time to see it. Fiddlesticks! No time like the present! Gaston, fetch my boot! Oh, no! Gaston is going to eat Miss Jolly's boots. Drop! Hooray! Hooray! Wow! He didn't eat it. Gaston is now trained. Thank you, Miss Jolly. My pleasure. Just remember Miss Jolly's simple rule. Show them who's boss. Yes, Miss Jolly. Bye. Doodle Pip. Bye, Bye Miss Jolly. It seems a bit silly to keep Gaston on the lead. But, Daddy, you're meant to show Gaston who's boss. Oh, I'm sure it wouldn't do any harm. Just this once. There we go. <laughs> um, should we keep Gaston outside? Nanny doesn't like his muddy feet indoors. Oh, yes. Gaston, wait outside. <laughs> oh. Well, I think we can bend the rules just this once. Hello. How was training? It was amazing. Miss Jolly put Gaston on a lead. Yes, Gaston is completely trained. He does everything I say. Really? Yes, he can even fetch shoes properly now. Goodness, are you sure? Oh, yes. Watch this. Gaston, fetch the Queen's slippers, please. <laughs> Good boy, Gaston. Drop. <laughs> Drop. <laughs> Drop. <laughs> Please. <laughs> ah, he's eaten my slippers. What's gone wrong? He was trained a minute ago. But, Daddy, you did break Miss Jolly's rules. Yes, we were supposed to show Gaston who's boss. What do you mean? You shouldn't have let him off the lead. And you shouldn't have let him come in the castle. You're right. I should be much firmer with him. Gaston, sit. Sit. 
Oh, well, pet school isn't such a big deal anyway. The important thing is Gaston knows who's boss. <laughs> Come on, Gaston. Off my throne. Ah, <laughs> uh, yes. I'll just sit down here. <laughs> yes, I think Gaston does know who's the boss. <laughs> Today's adventure starts at the meadow. Elf school. Now, Princess Holly, what's the name of this flower? That's easy, Nanny. It's a daisy. Yes, yes. An elf might call it a daisy, but a fairy princess would call it a Bellis Par Ennius. <sighs> Bellus per Ennius. Correct. Now, what is this bluebell called? A uh, bluebell? Oh, no, no, no. A fairy princess would call it a hyacinthoids non scripta. <sighs> oh, Nanny, nature class is so boring. Why do I have to learn the proper names of all these flowers? That is the sort of thing a fairy princess needs to know. Well, maybe I don't want to be a fairy princess. Hi, Holly. Hi, Ben. Where are you going? I'm off to elf school. Oh, what do you do at elf school? We learn how to make toys. That sounds fun. It is. Elves love making toys. And I'm an elf. <laughs> <laughs> I want to make toys. Nanny, can I go to elf school too? But you're not an elf. You're a royal fairy princess. Oh, please, Nanny Plum. Please, Nanny Plum, let Holly come. Oh, OK. Hooray! <laughs> and I'll come along too, just to make sure you don't get into any mischief. OK, but hurry, we can't be late for elf school. <laughs> We're going to elf school. We're going to elf school. <laughs> We're going, going to, to elf school. school. We're going, going to elf school. We're going to elf school. We're going to elf school. <laughs> Come on, elf school is at the top of the tree. Ooh. Good morning, boys and girls. Good, Good morning, morning, wise old elf. Ahem. <laughs> ah, Nanny Plum. Hello, Mr Old Elf. Hello. Princess Holly wants to see what elves get up to in your little school. Hmm. Very well. Holly may join the class. Oh, goody. <laughs> but no magic or flying, please. OK. Holly, sit next to me. <laughs> <clears throat> no flying. You will kindly walk. Flying is not allowed at elf school. Only because elves can't fly. <clears throat> That's right, Mistress Palum. Elves cannot fly. But we do have very good hearing. <laughs> <laughs> and elves are very good at making toys. So, today, we are going to make toys. Hooray! We will carry on from where we left off last time. I'm making a toy car. I'm making a toy duck. A toy helicopter. A toy boat. I'm making a toy frog. A toy rabbit. I'm making a robot. Ooh. I see that Miss Holly does not have a toy. That's OK. I'll magic one. Zing, zang, zingy, zoi. Magic me a little toy. <gasps> Ooh. Miss Holly, magic is not allowed at elf school. Only because elves can't do magic. <laughs> elves could do magic if they wanted to, but elves don't do magic. And we're elves! <laughs> 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 
Miss Holly, uh, you can work on this toy owl for today. Thank you, wise old owl. And I will take this wand for now so that you learn how to work the proper elf way without magic. Oh. Don't worry. You can have it back at the end of the class. Boys and girls, take out your hammers and remember to tap gently. Worry, Holly. I'll fix it. I've still got my magic wand. But, Nanny, magic isn't allowed at elf school. Oh, it'll be all right. No one will notice. Nick knack now, mend this owl. What was that loud bang? Uh, I think there's a bit of a storm brewing outside. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. Well, as long as there's no magic going on... I assure you, Mr Old Elf, Princess Holly is not using magic. Naughty Nanny Plum. Oh, shush. Now it's time to paint our toys. Remember, be very careful. <laughs> a little paint goes a long, long way. Doing things without magic is very hard. Maybe you need just a teeny tiny bit of magic. Oh, are you sure? Trust me. <clears throat> Zigzag Zoe, paint this toy. Miss Holly, are you doing magic? <coughs> No, wise old elf, not me. Uh, uh, I think it's just the storm outside. It must be really close now. <laughs> mm. There's something funny going on around here. Wise old elf, what do we do next? A good question, Holly. Next, we wind the toys up. Doesn't work. Don't worry. I'll just give it a little help. <laughs> <coughs> Nanny Plum, have you been doing magic? Just a teeny tiny little bit to help things along. You are a very naughty fairy. Sorry, wise old elf. <laughs> <laughs> we'll say no more about it. Now, Holly. Let's see what your owl can do. Oh, uh, it doesn't work at all. Hmm, maybe too much magic went into its making. I can fix it. I'm very good at mending things. Should do it. Hooray! Thank you, Ben. I did try to do it the elf way. Yes, Holly. I know you did. But it's not easy to make toys without using magic. It's easy for us because we're elves. <laughs> <laughs> Now, Holly, here's your wand back. 
Thank you. And remember, no magic until you have left the classroom. Yes, wise old elf. And that goes for you too, Nanny Palum. Yes, wise old elf. <laughs> <laughs> Today's adventure starts at the meadow. <laughs> the new wand. <laughs> <laughs> Gaston wants to play fetch the stick. OK, I'll magic up a stick. Ready, Wandy? <whistles> Abracadabra! <whistles> Here you go, Gaston. Fetch the stick. <whistles> 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 Again? <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's raining. We're getting wet. No problem. Wand to umbrella. Wow, that's great. Let's go. <laughs> Home and dry. Umbrella to wand. Achoo! Whoops, it sounds like your wand's got a cold. Achoo! Oh, no! Poor Wandy! It's because she got all wet. I'd better call the Wand Doctor. Hello, is that the Wand Doctor? Yes, this is the Wand Doctor. Yes, we've got a sick wand. Put your wand to bed with a hot water bottle and I'll be right over. Thank you. Goodbye. Goodbye. The Doctor says you have to put Wandy to bed and he'll be right over. Achoo! Poor Wandy! The Wand Doctor is here. Hello. But that's just the wise old elf. I'll have you know I'm not just the wise old elf. I'm also a fully qualified Wand Doctor. Oh, I see. We elves make the wands, remember? Yes, why is that? You hate magic. We make wands, but we don't use them. Magic always leads to trouble. Now, where is my patient? Here. Achoo! Ah, that's loud. <laughs> Tongue out, please. As I thought, a cold. I suggest plenty of rest. The wand needs to stay in bed and keep nice and warm. Will Wandy be able to do magic? Oh, no, no, no. There'll be no waving Wandy around for a while. Oh. What'll I do without a wand? Funny you should ask. I've been working on a brand new wand. Maybe you'd like to try it out. Wow! It's been top secret until now. I call it the Wise Wand 3000. Even I didn't know about it. Gosh, thanks, Wise Old Elf. It's so pretty. You're my best friend. Ooh! And it talks. I love you. Incredible. Amazing. That's not all. This wand has a very special feature no other wand has. What special feature? Oh, you'll find out soon enough. I have to say, wands don't get any better than this. What did he mean by that? What does he ever mean? I always lose interest halfway through. I can't wait to do some magic with my Wise Wand 3000. Well, you will have to wait till tomorrow because it's nearly bedtime. Oh, Bye, Holly. Bye, Ben. Bye, Gaston. See you tomorrow. <laughs> Morning, Daddy. Morning, Holly. Ah, the new wand. How is it? It's amazing. I love you. <laughs> Good news, Princess Holly. Wandy is better. The wand doctor was right. She just needed a bit of rest. Oh, that's nice. So you can take that new wand back to the wise old elf if you like. Uh, I think I might like to keep it for a bit. I haven't even tried doing magic with it yet. Oh. Well, what should we do with this? Um, I don't really need it anymore. Can you put it with my baby toys? OK. Oh, well, there you go. Holly's got a new wand now. You're my best friend. <laughs> Hello, Holly. Hello, Ben. Hello, Fred. 
Fleur? Is that a new wand? Yes, it's called the Wise Wand 3000. I love you. Wow, it talks. Yes, it's very, very new and top secret. You're my best friend. Oh, <laughs> let's play a game. Yes, what shall we play? Let's play Princesses, Knights and Naughty Witches. Yes. I'll be the princess because I am a princess. And I'll be the brave knight. OK. Wow, real armour. And I'll be the naughty witch. <laughs> what do we do now? The brave knight has to rescue the princess from a tower. What tower? Ha <laughs> ha, this tower. I going to rescue you from that? In the stories, the princess grows her hair really long and the knight climbs up it. Oh, yes. Ooh. Climb up that hair, Ben. <laughs> Easy. Elves are good at climbing up hair and I'm an elf. <laughs> Here I am. I've come to rescue you. Thank you, Brave Knight. <laughs> but now you're both trapped. <laughs> oh. We can easily get down. Not if I put bars on the window. Oh, we're stuck. Ha 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 ha. Fleur, lunchtime. Oh, that's my mum. I've got to go. Bye. OK. Bye, Fleur. How are we going to get down? Don't worry. I've got my Wise Wand 3000. You're my best friend. OK, let's get out of here. I love you. Oh, it didn't work. I love you. It's not doing anything. What happened the last time you used it? Nothing. I haven't done any magic with it yet. I love you. It's useless. I wish I had my old wand. <coughs> oh, it's Gaston. Gaston could fetch help. Yes, Gaston, go and get Wandy. Fetch, Gaston, fetch. <coughs> Dee -dee -da -da Gaston, you're in a hurry today. <laughs> hey, where are you going with Wandy? The Wise Wand 3000 is meant to be a very special wand, but it doesn't do anything. Maybe it's broken. It doesn't look broken. I love you. Does it ever say anything else? No, apart from... You're my best friend. That. It's actually a bit annoying. Yes, my old ones never talked. It just... <coughs> oh, Wandy! My old wand! Here, Gaston. Wandy! Hooray! Glad to see you. Now, let's get down from this tower. Yes, indeed. You. I think I'll use my old wand from now on. Ah, Princess Holly, how are you getting on with a wise wand 3000? It's broken. Is it? I love you. It looks perfectly fine to me. But it doesn't do magic. Magic. Yes, that's the special feature I was talking about. No magic. What? A wand that doesn't do magic? Correct. You see, magic always leads to trouble and also... But a wand that doesn't do magic is not a wand. It's just a stick. So, you're saying that the Wise Wand 3000 is good for absolutely nothing? Yes. Yes. <laughs> I know one thing it's good for. Yes? Here, Gaston. Fetch the stick. You're my best friend. I love you. Gaston. 
Donald loves fetching sticks. <laughs> I love you. You're my best friend. And I love you, Wandy. You're my best friend. Today's adventure starts at the Great Elf Tree. Uncle Gaston. <laughs> Hi, Gaston. I'll be right down. <laughs> oh, you're blue. Have you got a cold or something? <laughs> Hi, Ben. Hi, Gaston. <gasps> What's happened to Gaston? <laughs> Nanny, you can speak, Ladybird. What's Gaston saying? <laughs> oh, he's saying he's not Gaston. He's Gaston's brother, Tony. <laughs> I didn't know Gaston had a brother. Me neither. <laughs> and Tony has come here with his family. This is Pam. <laughs> <laughs> and these are their children, Amber, Emerald and Keith. <laughs> Ah, oh, look, they are so cute. <laughs> Hello, you lot. <laughs> They've come to visit Gaston, but they're lost. We'll take you to Gaston. Come on, this way. <laughs> Gaston, your brother Tony has come to visit. <laughs> Their uncle Gaston. <laughs> oh dear. Oh dear. What? What is it? What are they saying? Well, they wrote Gaston a letter asking if he could look after their children for a day. <laughs> but he ate the letter. <laughs> <laughs> yes, Gaston likes eating letters. So Gaston had no idea he was supposed to be looking after the little ones. <laughs> Don't worry, we'll help Gaston look after them. Yes, it'll be fun. <laughs> Bye. Nanny Plum. Oh, that's the king. What does he want? Nanny Plum, I can't find my glasses. Have you tried looking on your head? Oh, yes. Now, where's my crown? Nanny! Oh, I'll have to go. Have fun, you two, and Uncle Gaston. <laughs> <laughs> Keith's riding on Gaston's back. <laughs> now the other two want to go. <laughs> oh. Gaston looks a bit tired. Have a little rest, Gaston. We'll play with the baby ladybirds for a bit. Let's play fetch. OK, Amber, fetch! <laughs> Emerald wants to go too. And Keith. <laughs> They're very fast. Don't they ever get tired? <laughs> Hi, Ben. Hi, Holly. Oh, look. Baby ladybirds. Aren't they adorable? <laughs> They're called Amber, Emerald and Keith. And Gaston's their uncle. <laughs> They're a bit hyper. We know. They need a nap. When my little sister doesn't have a nap, she gets overtired. What happens then? She cries. <coughs> See what I mean? They can have a sleep in Gaston's cave. There you are, baby ladybirds. Now you can have a little rest. They don't seem very tired. Come on, lie down. <sighs> They're not doing it. How can we get them to sleep? Hmm, to make my little sister sleepy, my mum reads her a storybook. Gaston's got storybooks. <coughs> but looks like he's eaten them all. I've got lots of storybooks back home. Dum-dee, dum-dee-doo. 
dee dee da dum. Ah, oh, lovely clean washing. Gaston, no! I'm not having muddy footprints all over my washing today, thank you. Ah! Hi, Nanny. We've brought the baby ladybirds over. Yes, I see. <sighs> Tired today, eh, Gaston? At least that means you won't be jumping up on me and licking my face. <laughs> ah! Goodness me! Baby ladybirds. Yes, Amber, Emerald and Keith. Well, well. So Gaston is a girl ladybird after all. No, Gaston's a boy ladybird. He's their uncle. He's looking after them for the day. Are they house trained? Nearly. How adorable. Little puppy ladybirds. Can they stay, Mummy? I'm sorry, Holly, but it's of not... Of course they can. Yay! I'm going to read a storybook to make the baby ladybirds sleepy. Oh, but where are the baby ladybirds? They've gone! Sounds like they're upstairs. <gasps> they're in Daisy and Poppy's room. I'll go and get them. No, Ben. Daisy and Poppy can be a bit dangerous. I'll go. <laughs> <laughs> baby birds! Baby birds! Daisy, Poppy, they're not your dollies. They're baby ladybirds. Baby birds! Ruff, 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 ruff! Here they are. Um, how many baby ladybirds are there? Three. Hmm, there seem to be four now. And one of them's wearing a crown. Oh, no! That's Mummy. They've turned her into a baby ladybird. Baby bird, baby bird. <laughs> Daisy, Poppy, it's very naughty to turn your mother into a ladybird. Oof, thank you, darling. <coughs> oh, dear. It's all right, King Thistle. They're just getting overtired. Right. Where are your storybooks, Holly? In my bedroom. <laughs> they like Holly's bed. They've got so much energy. I love this storybook. No, Gaston. It's not for eating. Rock-a-bye baby on the treetops. When the wind blows, the cradle will rock. When the bow breaks, the cradle will fall. And down will come baby, cradle and all. Down will come baby, cradle and all? That's not very nice. You're right. Um, what about this one? It's about ladybirds. Ladybird, ladybird, fly away home. Your house is on f... Oh, dear. This one's even more scary. How about this one? Once upon a time, there were three little pigs. Can't you make it more about ladybirds, Ben? OK. Once upon a time, there were three little ladybirds and they each built a little house. One was made of straw, one was made of sticks and one was made of bricks. What happened next? Well, one day, a big bad wolf came along to the straw house. And he huffed, and he puffed, and he... Does the story have a happy ending? Um, let's see. Uh, no. I mean, let's just say the three little piggies, I mean, ladybirds, lived happily ever after. So the wolf didn't eat any of them? Not even one? No, no, no. Of course not. It was all happy. The end. Ben, look. They're all asleep. Oh, yes. We did it! What time are their mummy and daddy coming to collect them? Oh, I've just thought. Their mummy and daddy won't know where we are. Oh. 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 What is it, Gaston? Oh. He's heard something. Oh. 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 Gaston, they found us. <laughs> oh, they've woken up already. How come they've got so much energy?
energy again. Mm, it might be something to do with them having a little sleep. Yes, my little sister's always got tons of energy after she's had a nap. Oh! <laughs> they do love their Uncle Gaston. And Uncle Gaston loves them too. <laughs> <laughs>